The Veterans Museum was built in uh, first one in 1997, and then in 2004, we built an addition. This museum is dedicated to teaching and reminding people of the history, especially of the Air Base, but of World War II, uh, World War I we include, World War II, Vietnam, Desert Storm, and Korea. The base that was located here was a B-17 training base during World War II. The crews uh, formed up here and they trained here for about three months. Then they went to usually England to fly out of England. We had uh, 7,700 crewmen trained here or 770 crews. And we also had 71 or 72 B-17s domiciled here all the time. And the great thing we like to do is when people come to our museum, talk about the effect it had on the area. For instance, there were soldiers here from all over the United States. They said this was the young girl's dream and the widow's delight. Because all these men came in here, they were so good looking and they had all these nice uniforms for the local people who simply worked out here on the base and, and knew all these people. It was, it was fun, but it was not for the soldiers who were training. Everything in here is donated and it's from people who visit and then send stuff back to us. And particularly, we take things from people who live in the Tri-County area and also uh, veterans who were stationed here. The exhibits, for instance, in here, this is World War II military vehicles. We also have a Korean uh, war jeep. The ambulance actually saw service in France. You will see exhibits, one of them especially on the Memphis Belle. And the reason that is there is simply because Margaret Polk, who was the Memphis Belle, uh, came here in 1986. And from that point on, we were really good friends with the Memphis Bell Association. Now the interesting thing is Bob Little, who lives in Dyersburg and married Jane Latta, he was the last man to fly the Memphis Bell from Altus, Oklahoma to Memphis in 1946. So he still comes out to the museum a couple of times a week and we feel real fortunate to have him. One thing we have is the Norden bomb site that was so, so important in World War II. They say that radar and the Norton bomb site were the two things that won the war for us. Very few museums have those on exhibit. Usually they're inside of uh, these warbirds that fly around. And uh, I hope everybody will come out and look at that because it's interesting. We uh, exist completely through donations. That's how we operate. And basically we're open seven days a week. Uh, on Saturday and Sunday, we're open from two to five, but it's real important to know that only people's donations keep this museum open. We are resurrecting the air show this year, and hopefully that will be every year in September from now on, because that's when the warbirds come in. You can actually see them flying and doing bomb runs, the strafing runs, and flying in formation. It's a wonderful experience. So uh, that's happening this September 11 and 12. And if there's enough attendance and enough interest, we'll do it the next year and the next year and the next year. That's our mission. That's our mission, is to keep patriotism alive by reminding people of what went on before. And it's, it's a great 